Professor. Just on a physical level, when we say the word fitness, it's like saying the word health, right? Yeah. And you're like, okay, what the definition of health, as, as, as much as I know, is being free from disease. Now, fitness, it's almost marketed, and I left that. I left the advertising community 20 some years ago because the messages were always just I'm not hyperbolic. But fitness is basically the ability to perform. Perform what? What's your interest? What, what's, what's important to you? So on a physiological level, fitness is a very independent single thing where it's like health. You know, what you do for your health, what you do for excitement, adventure, right? You know, living the life and keep foraging. Part of the core strength. Your low back. How many people experience low, low back pain, either acute or chronic? Raise your hand. Okay, good, all right. Outside of any special situation in physical trauma you guys experience, 50% of all back pain is related to three things. Poor circulation, weak abdominals, or a weak balanced core. Oh, you see how you said the word balance? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll get back to that. And poor, poor circulation, weak abdominals or core, and tight, everybody knows what these are called? Hamstrings. Hamstrings. The second most important muscle in your body after your heart, from a functional standpoint, let's, let's uh, you know, bear with me. How, besides the brain, which we're going to get to, how that we can interact, is these hamstrings. These are main movers functional to do just about everything. Squat down, walk, run, climb. When these things are out of balance, which I will tell you if I, okay, raise your hand. Who's got tight hamstrings? <coughs> be honest, be honest. Okay, so sometimes you don't know that they're tight if you don't really do that. Or your passion, you get upset. I gotta do something about this. Is it pain or is it keeping me from doing what I wanna do, right? It's the whole thing. Where's the weakest link? So oftentimes, this core, and we're going to talk about how to strengthen simple exercises to really effectively strengthen those muscles. And what I specialize in is putting people up on their feet and putting them in some precarious situations on their feet and slowly progress strength progressions with balance progression. Very elongated. Okay, when you're ready. Again, knees are just a little soft. Heavy down, light area up. Close one eye. So those messages, we're allowing more muscular activation to have to go to the brain. Imagine if tomorrow the world was made out of that. Wouldn't everybody go, hey, Charlie? How did this happen? Correct? It's like a rubber room. Okay. Open your eyes. Close your other eye. Elongated posture, really yeah. heavy. You're sinking into Mars. You're trying to stay very stable. He's doing a static position. He's trying to practice really optimal posture. I'm having him bring his shoulders back a little bit. And he's super elongated. And he's got his knees. And this is very orchestrated. So I've got more. He's not used to standing that way, right? He's on Mars. For... Okay. So now he's going to try the other foot. Try the other foot. Yeah, try the other foot. Yeah. Now, we want to keep, in his mind's eye, we want to make sure we try to keep the core underneath his chest. If you get in trouble, just soften your knees, okay? All right. Can you try to slowly, you can't touch your foot. Yeah, 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 you can't, you can't ease it. That's, that's why I call it no kickstands, okay? No kickstands. <laughs> okay? Now, you can sit tall, keep your eyes open. I want, your knees are soft. I want you to slowly try to pick this up and try to see if you can float. Yeah. And float it. Count for me. One, two, three. Go back. Put the anchor toe down. Put it back down. Okay. All right. Put it forward. More forward. More forward. More forward. More forward. More, more, more. Right there. Okay. Hold it right there. Just this position. Can you see? He, you're much more safe, don't you? You comfortable? You're much more confident, right? That was a challenge taking it off. Correct. His left leg is really working. Right. He was giving me that elongation. 
He was setting in and he was getting this all this collaboration. What I do, and I specialize, is I help people orchestrate their half glass full. Yeah. Let's maximize, right? And let's challenge on a neural level to get the <coughs> interior and improve that strength, and then we get you back up on your feet. Did you notice that when he first went down, I didn't tell him to lean, did he? But, but he went, actually went down because he goes, this is how I can do it. If I tell him to be a superhero, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so this is how he's, he's understanding where his core is positioned, and he's naturally coming up. This is not rocket science. This is him being from the two years old, right? When he first started walking around and yeah. jumping around. Okay. Okay, that was your left foot, your right foot forward, correct? Yeah, that was your right foot yeah. forward. Yeah. Do your yeah. left. Do your left while I'm just talking and we're going to finish up here. Because I want him not to be unbalanced. Right. Challenge your other side. Now watch, you guys. Don't make fun of him because he may have a lot more trouble. We tend to put the best foot forward, don't we? Sometimes we have to. That's the way we start, right? You've got to build confidence. But your, your, your improvement is going to be based on, let's find your weakest link. What is the weakest link? That's that half glass of empty. But I'm bound to determine neurally to go someplace and go more. Because I can turn that around. Press this. What's happening is I'm allowing his brain to feel, you know, you're, you're rock climbing, okay? Has anybody gone hiking and you walk up, right? You walk up and you're like, okay, I can do this, climb, right? I'm up and you're up. And you go to every now and then you look down like, oh. Okay, you're getting up top and you're coming back down and you're like, oh yeah, we're good, we're good, we climbed up. And we go like this, we're going, oh, I don't think I'm going to step down. So what do you do? Yeah. Right? And then slide down, right? <laughs> The reason I point this out because this is why this exercise is so critical for the stabilization for your next step. When he has that pressure right there, he's all of a sudden it's kicking in. It's going to stabilize his hip. So when his foot lands, when you do that with a too big a step and you're not, it's too much, right? You second guess yourself wrong, right? You go down. What happens with the knee? You go down. You go. Whoa, right? The yeah. knee goes crazy because you have this, this hips goes crazy, the knee goes crazy, and you almost fall. You guys ever been that close to that? You don't follow me when you're, you know, everybody's high to a degree. And you know as you get older, you get smarter, hopefully. Yeah. On your knees, safeties and low. Go low, 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 low. Okay, now you go touch your shoelace. You're all over it, dude. Drop the butt, drop the butt. Bend your knees, you gotta bend your knees. Figure out where they go. Nice. Woo! Count. Oh, figure it out. Figure it out. Okay, all right. Nice attack. Let's do it again. Okay, keep going. Who wants to do it again? I'm not gonna stop. When somebody says a training that I, I would do it again, I can't stop it. I don't care where we're at. But the other client's gonna wait. Just get in line. Come on, you do your stuff. I like that. I like that determination. This seems really, really simple, guys. But even people without subject to trauma, special situations, the average person. It is a crisis in this country. Postural dysfunction. Teenagers walking around with 80-year-old men postures. Yep. Sitting excessive. Do you guys hear the term? Sitting is the new smoking? Yeah. <laughs> it is literally that impactful that human beings were not designed to sit that long. I'm going to give you a little tip. All right, nice job, nice job. Professor. <laughs>